Thank you. Hong Kong, also known as the Pearl of the Orient, is famous for its important role in the realm of commerce, as well as the amazing night view along the Victoria Harbour. However, in this wonderful city, there are lots of hidden problems, including the widening gap between the rich and the poor, and the stress level of the citizens. These deep-rooted problems decrease the cohesion of the society and the satisfaction of the resident, making Hong Kong a place not as good as it seems. Let's kick off by talking about visitors. There are approximately 30 million visitors every year, with about 22 million are from mainland China. And among them, 23% of the mainland visitors are parallel importers that consume high volume of milk powders and other daily necessities, bringing them back to their home country. There is as well a growing phenomenon that these visitors are buying local apartments in Hong Kong, which leads to another great social anxiety. By now, Hong Kong is one of the 10 most expensive places to live in, no matter villas or apartments. It is becoming more and more luxurious to find a place to live in. Indeed, a millionaire cannot afford a big apartment now, though if they insist to buy a luxurious apartment, the size of it will only be just enough to fit in a queen-size bed. For a middle-aged person, buying an apartment is now rather a far end to be reached. The land prices have been escalating rapidly starting from the year of 2008, but for the average salary of a person aged between 25 to 34, it has been kept the same for the past 13 years. There is an old-fashioned belief that no matter how poor your family is, as long as one of the family members gains a university degree, his or her family would then have a chance to escape from poverty. However, the inconvenient truth and reality is that it is harder to achieve so when compared to 22 years ago. If either of the parents is not the top 10% richest or had a university degree, the chances of their children enjoying a higher education in university would be minimal. Pursuing a learning chance in famous institutes for their children has long been a common goal of Hong Kong parents, hoping to secure their future careers and income salaries. However, such would render them high financial pressure, making families living in poverty harder to send their children to the road of success, and which ultimately resulted in intergenerational poverty. In this youth submit, you will be assigned to one of the 10 faculties to voice out your opinions on the six assigned issues of this project. Try to be all in and strike for a change for the future of Hong Kong. Welcome to the Hong Kong Youth Submit 2013.